This is Eugene Andrikovich on the laptop screen back. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com and today we're going to replace a cracked screen on a Toshiba Satellite L675 laptop computer. L675 laptop computer. Uh, this is a big laptop with a 17.3 inch screen, but it shouldn't be too bad to replace the screen. So if you have a cracked screen, watch this video and save some money. Alright, uh, in order to get to the screen, we have to remove this black plastic frame around the screen first. And in order to do that, there's some screws that are holding it down that we have to remove. So let's look at the tools that we're going to need. We're going to need a exacto knife, an exacto blade with a sharp blade with a sharp tip, a pair of metal tweezers to grab little screws when they're stuck, and an electronic screwdriver with a PH1 bit and a PH0 bit. All right, so let's get started. Well, first, we have to remove the plastic covers off of the screws there. The screws are hidden behind the plastic cover, so there's either four or six. We don't know if there's screws hiding behind these. We'll find out. Okay, so first, we use our exacto, exacto blade to remove. Actually, they're little rubber covers, and what I like to do is stick them on the side so we don't lose them. Let's see if there's a screw hiding behind here. Okay, let's get there. Try not to destroy this little thing. And yes, there's a screw behind there. So we have to remove both of them. Sometimes there's screws behind the middle ones. Sometimes there's not. It's just trial and error. I think what these laptop makers do is they play a cruel game with you sometimes. They try to hide the screws, so I see if you can find them all. It's hide and seek, but we're up to the task. We can do it. All right, so there's two more down here. So there's one. Let's get a better angle. One down here, like this, and let's go on the other side, and we've got a good angle, and let's get to this one. Okay, so we move the rubber covers, next we remove the screws. So this was probably the hardest one to get to. Oh, the sun just came out in Tucson. How unusual. Alright. Almost there. Okay, so the screws almost out. And there we go. It's out. We put it in this pile with all the other screws from the plastic frame so we don't confuse them with the other screws. I usually have an electric screwdriver that I work with that I open it, but to show the audience, I just use a regular screwdriver. If you do this all day with a regular screwdriver, you probably get carpal tunnel syndrome. So we don't want that to happen, but if you just replace a laptop screen once in a while, you're okay. All right. Almost there. I don't know if you hear my cell phone in the background. Getting a lot of email messages. So hopefully that's good. Hopefully it's more customers wanting their screens replaced. Not customers complaining about the screens that already have been replaced. Uh, accident. Okay, so this one it's a little bit hard to get to. So in this case, we have several remedies if you have a stuck screw. I want us to go to a smaller screwdriver and apply a lot of force, and that remedy worked. 
Okay, so we slowly remove it. Another remedy is to get a thinner screwdriver so that you can have a better angle. Well, let me show you. Actually, I have a smaller screwdriver like this with a thinner shaft so we can get in there and get a better angle. So that sometimes works better. So I think the screw survived. If you have a stripped screw, don't put it back in. Um, find another one or just leave it out because it's going to be a lot harder to get out next time. Okay, so with some effort, we removed the screws. And next, we got to remove the plastic cover from the screen. So what I like to do is put my fingernails or my fingers on the screen side and gently lift up the cover until I hear snapping sounds. When I hear snapping sounds, it's a good sign. That means the plastic frame is snapping off. Okay, so we almost have it off. There's some, part of it has hinge covers that I like to use the tweezers to lift up by. Try not to damage the plastic frame. There. It's really flimsy plastic, so sometimes it's easy to damage the frame, but we took it off and we didn't damage it. All right, so now let's see what we have. All right, this is a 17.3 inch LED screen, and it's held on some mounting brackets with the screws on the side. Sometimes it's easy to get to those screws, sometimes it's not. Let's see what we have here. Here looks like it's pretty easy. Okay, so there's three screws on each side. And for in this case, we use a pH zero bit because the pH one bit will be too large to engage these screws. So we remove them one by one. One. Two. And make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit when you do this because when all the screws are removed, you don't want the screen to just fall forward because there's some um, cables and connectors behind there that can get damaged. So, one here. Two here and three. Okay. So we remove the screws and now we can slowly tilt the screen assembly forward. When we tilt it forward, right away we notice that the webcam cable moves along with it, so that means there's some adhesive on the back that it's attached to. So we remove that adhesive and see what's going on down here. And there's some more adhesive here. So, okay, we freed the webcam cable. This one is pretty delicate, so you don't want to damage this one. And then we see that there's one connector that we have to remove to remove the screen itself. So there's some plastic adhesive tape on here. There's some tape. So we lift up this tape before we can remove the connector. Like so. Lift it up. And often there's adhesive on the back of the cable. So we have to lift it up too before we can remove the connector. Okay, so we remove the adhesive from the back, from the top, and then we just pull the connector back, like so. And now we have the screen. So let's take a look at this screen. It's a 17.3 inch LED screen. This is a pretty standard type, so you're not going to have any trouble finding this. So make sure the connector is here, which it most likely will be. Some HP laptops have the connector here, but this is a Toshiba laptop, so the connector is here. Let's take a look at the part number. So you get a good focus. Good. 
Okay, all you need to know is LP173WD1. LP173WD1. That's the only number you need to know. And you look it up by this part number. And when you do order it and we receive it, most likely you will get a compatible screen. So the part number won't be exactly like this, but it'll be compatible, and the maker will probably be someone else. But they're kind of like car tires. They fit, and you're not going to probably, you're not going to be able to tell the difference. It's compatible. Okay, the other thing to notice, it has a glossy finish. Just most screens these days have a glossy finish, but that's just another thing to do. And um, that's it. When you have your screen, you reverse the procedure, put it back in. Make sure you have the screws in separate files so you know what goes where. And just be careful and put it back in and your laptop should be as good as new. Okay, uh, thank you very much. My name is Eugene Panrutkovich and I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com.